Did you know that over 20 million people in the United States alone suffer from some level of kidney disease? If you're over 50 years old, you might want to think twice before eating certain foods, as some of them can be harmful to your kidneys and overall health. In this video, let's learn about 7 foods that might ruin your kidneys after the age of 50. Also, don't miss the end, where we'll learn about some quick tips to maintain healthy kidneys. Let's begin! Number 1. High Sodium Foods Inside our bodies, our kidneys play a crucial role in balancing water and electrolytes by filtering our blood. They use a combination of sodium and potassium to pull water from the bloodstream into special channels in the kidneys. This process helps maintain a healthy balance. Now, if you eat too much salt, it can seriously mess with this balance. And as you get older, especially after 50, consistently having too much salt doesn't let kidneys do their job properly, and they can't remove excess water as well, which can lead to higher blood pressure. High blood pressure, in turn, strains the kidneys and can eventually cause kidney disease and probably even kidney failure if you don't pay attention to it. Another thing to keep in mind is that too much salt can also make the kidneys release more protein into the urine, particularly when high blood pressure destroys the tiny filters inside them, called glomeruli, so that they can't hold bigger particles like protein in your blood. This condition is known as proteinuria and requires immediate medical attention. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on your salt intake. Aim for less than 2,300 mg of sodium per day, and if you have pre-existing kidney problems, even lower intake might be recommended by your doctor. Number 2. High Protein Foods Chronic kidney disease is a significant global health issue affecting around 13% of the population. But in older adults, it is much more common, affecting almost 40% of individuals aged 65 and above. Its major risk factors are high blood pressure, diabetes, and urinary tract infections. Protein itself does not cause CKD, but consuming more protein than your body actually needs might worsen CKD symptoms or negatively affect kidney health in general. The recommended daily intake for protein is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight. This amounts to roughly 56 grams for a 140-pound person. If you are more active throughout the day, you may need more than the recommended values, and if you are less active than most people, then you may need less. The type of protein matters too. Studies show that red meat might have adverse effects on kidneys, while lean meat, eggs, fish, nuts, and seeds are considered good quality proteins. But be sure to take them in moderation and in balanced amounts according to your individual needs. Number 3. High Phosphorus Intake Phosphorus is an essential mineral for your body as it helps your body build strong bones and produce enough energy. After digestion, Phosphorus in your foods mostly goes to your bones and is found in your blood as serum phosphorus. If you're over 50, your kidneys might not work as well in removing extra phosphorus, which can disrupt its level and pose many health problems. Too much phosphorus can weaken your bones by affecting calcium metabolism, which can create harmful deposits in blood vessels, lungs, eyes, and heart, increasing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, organ failure, and especially chronic kidney disease or acute kidney injury. The recommended daily intake of phosphorus for most healthy adults is 700 mg per day. A safe serum phosphorus level is usually between 2.5 to 4.5 units. But if you have CKD or other underlying conditions, it's important to monitor your phosphorus levels and discuss them with your healthcare team to prevent any potential risks. Number 4. High Potassium Foods Fruits, vegetables, and nuts are generally considered healthy for, well, everyone. But if you are in your 50s or above, you must be careful about which nutrients are you taking from them and how much. Many healthy foods, especially bananas, oranges, mangoes, dates, potatoes, especially baked potatoes, and spinach are quite rich in potassium. Now, potassium is yet another essential mineral and electrolyte vital for various bodily functions, particularly in supporting kidney function. But high potassium intake, even from healthy foods, can be really bad for your kidney's health and can cause a condition known as hyperkalemia. While hyperkalemia may be asymptomatic in some cases, potassium levels exceeding 6.5 to 7.0 units may show up in severe symptoms, including muscle weakness, paralysis, 
abnormal heart rhythm, and palpitations. For optimal health, the National Institute of Health suggests 2,600 mg of potassium for adult females and 3,400 mg for adult males. But if you have kidney disease or CKD, ask your doctor about how much phosphorus or other nutrients you can take according to your individual needs and health condition. Number 5. High Sugary Foods and Drinks Diabetic kidney disease is the leading cause of kidney failure in the United States accounting for almost 40% of new cases requiring dialysis or transplantation. In fact, an estimated one in three adults with diabetes has DKD, so you can imagine how common it is. But having diabetes doesn't necessarily mean that you'll develop kidney failure sooner or later. If you manage your blood sugar levels, it won't just lower your risk of kidney failure, but also the many health complications associated with hyperglycemia, including heart disease, vision loss, brain damage, liver damage, bone degradation, and even cancer. Even if you don't have diabetes and you are in your 50s or above, you must watch your total sugar intake. And that includes carbs, especially refined carbs, and starches, added sugars, especially high fructose corn syrup, and hidden sugars, like honey, maple syrup, or agave nectar. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans 2020 to 2025 recommend that adults consume 45 to 65 percent of their daily calories from carbohydrates. This applies to all types of carbs and sugars, including the ones coming from fruits, vegetables, cereals, bread, table sugar, and desserts. It is also important to focus on eating high-fiber, low-sugar foods, monitor blood sugar regularly, and communicate promptly with your healthcare team if levels are high. Also, Check your blood sugar daily, ensure your monitoring equipment is working correctly, and discuss an exercise plan with your healthcare provider. Following these steps can effectively prevent many complications associated with uncontrolled blood sugar in diabetes and chronic kidney disease. Number 6. Dehydration When you get too hot, dry, or don't drink enough water, you may get dehydrated. Being dehydrated, especially for a long time, can make your urine more concentrated with minerals and waste, which you can tell by the darker color of your urine. This can lead to kidney problems like kidney stones and urinary tract infections. When you get older, not drinking enough water can be really harmful to your kidneys, as they might already be not as efficient as they were in your younger ages. And being dehydrated makes it worse. Research suggests that just drinking plain water can be really helpful to protect your kidneys from disorders. So, it's important to stay hydrated, especially in warm or dry conditions, and if we're sweating a lot or dealing with vomiting or diarrhea. Many experts say that women should drink about 8 glasses of fluids a day, and men should aim for about 10 glasses. But the truth is that the right amount of fluids varies for each person. It depends on things like how much you exercise, the weather, and your health, especially if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. If you have kidney disease, especially if your kidneys aren't working well, and you're on treatments like dialysis, you have to be extra careful about how much you drink. Your body is pretty good at signaling you when it needs water, like when you feel thirsty or you notice your urine turning darker pale color. Now let's have a brief look at three quick tips to keep your kidneys overall healthy. Number one. Ensure your blood sugar levels are consistently within the healthy range. Undergo an HbA1c test at least twice a year, and more frequently if you have diabetes or other health conditions and are taking medications. Consult with your doctor to determine the appropriate testing frequency for your situation. Number 2. Regularly monitor your blood pressure and aim to maintain it below 140-90 units, ideally at 120-80 units or as per the target set by your doctor. Discuss medications and other strategies to lower your blood pressure with your doctor. Number 3. Obesity is a major risk factor for chronic kidney disease. In fact, studies show that around 24% of CKD cases in U.S. men and 34% of CKD cases in U.S. women are attributed to overweight and obesity. Another large-scale study shows that people with a body mass index of more than 30 may have a three to four times higher risk of developing chronic kidney disease as compared to those with a healthy BMI. So if you are overweight, then you must lose those extra pounds. Exercise regularly and follow a proper diet plan with a variety of fruits, vegetables, nuts, 
seeds, and whole grains with suitable portion sizes according to your calorie and nutrient needs. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.